too many games, TV shows, and movies are taken by unimaginative hacks, twisted around, and changed for modern audiences. Sadly, these people can't come up with anything new or good, so they have to work with other people's creations, then just end up ruining them. And now we're hearing about another game that is being rebooted with being aimed to take the series forward for today's sensibilities. I have a bunch of things to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or support the channel via YouTube members memberships. All of the links are in the description, and of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. So I wanted to start with this Bounding Into Comics article that says Head of Xbox Studios says developer behind Fable Reboot is aiming to bring the series forward for today's sensibilities. Whenever we hear the terms modern audiences, modern aims for today's sensibilities, we instantly know something is going to be ruined. Unfortunately, 90% of the time, that means this property is being taken and it's being changed around to please the soft snowflakes of social media and basically just the SJWs. They don't want to put any offensive content. They want to make it diverse, inclusive. They want to make it as drastically different from the original as possible. And sadly, it's happening to Fable now which honestly kind of makes zero sense. It says the head of Xbox Studios, Matt Booty, has stated that the Fable reboot will be brought forward for today's sensibilities and be a modern take. I don't know what they're going to modernize with this besides just the cast of characters. Not much information about this new Fable title has been shared by the developer, in spite of it being the first entry in the long-running series to be announced since 2012's Fable The Journey, not including the trilogy in 2014, the cancelled Fable Legends, or the kickstarted Fable Fortune card game in 2018. Now, when this was announced back in 2020, people were extremely hopeful for it, thinking, wow, we're finally getting Fable with new graphics, new music. This is going to be awesome. Unfortunately, though, a lot of us were very skeptical. We didn't get really any information besides the generic CGI trailer and the logo. And we knew at that point that it was going to be years away and we still haven't really heard anything about it, which is very suspicious. This could be one of those games that is either in development hell or when they announced it, they had nothing for it. It says, during a recent appearance on the Skill Up podcast, he was asked about his start in the industry, what he missed in his position as the head of Xbox Game Studios compared to being a developer, how studios work with each other, and talking about Game Pass. He then talked about Halo Infinite's launch and the development of the Perfect Dark reboot, and then, of course, he was asked about his involvement with the Fable reboot. He mentions how Playground does racing games, but if we deconstruct that a little bit, I think the thing that Playground does is high craft, high quality, high attention to detail, and so I'll separate that out as a starting ingredient. He then revealed they had a particular passion for the IP, and I think they also demonstrated that they understand what the heart and soul of Fable is about, and how they can bring it forward for today's sensibilities, and just, you know, make a modern take on Fable. Now, there is nothing that needs to be changed from the original game. Off the top of my head, there's never been any movies, TV shows, or games that have been rebooted with modern sensibilities in mind that has been better than the original, and that's what these companies don't realize. Storytelling doesn't change, fairy tales don't change, and no matter how much you try to twist them around and give them new modern edges, you're never going to outdo or one-up the originals. All you'll do is upset the people who love the original stories and make them dislike you, and that is what's going to happen with Fable. Nobody wants a modern take on Fable or a Fable for modern sensibilities we just want 
fable. We want a reboot or a remake of the original game that is as true to it as possible. That is a giant problem. They may end up ruining this IP because they're too worried about the future instead of focusing on what made the past games amazing. Honestly, I don't know how they're even saying they're going to make a modern take of Fable because the original came out in 2004. It's only 18 years old. I mean, that is modern. What they really mean by modern, though, is forced diversity, inclusivity, and a completely different story. It's their excuse to throw everything at a project to see if something will stick, and so far, that has not worked out. Disney did it with Star Wars and the Disney princesses. It didn't work. Amazon did it with the Rings of Power. It didn't work. Marvel and DC have done it with their movies and comics. Oh, gee whiz, it hasn't worked. I mean, the list goes on, yet these people have no victories under their belts when it comes to these changes, and they still are doing it. As the article points out, um, with modern audiences and it becoming an infamous buzzword, usually suggesting a remake or a new entry in a series would remove content some could deem offensive, uh, they bring up the Resident Evil 4 VR being censored, and it's also one of the reasons the Saints Row reboot failed to resonate with both critics and independent reviewers. Unfortunately, there are also a lot of other projects that are in the works that are of course, being focused on modern sensibilities, like The Witcher. CD Projekt Red recently announced a Witcher remake, saying it will be a modern reimagining. Now, of course, at its core, The Witcher has a lot of violence, but one thing they could tone down that is just a story element is the sex and the deep, intimate relationships. And I would put money on the fact that that is going to be toned down, or at least that is going to be a major element in this series that is now going to be toned down in this remake. We've also got Dead Space. EA revealed the Dead Space remake will be updated for modern audiences. We also have Splinter Cell's remake will be rewritten and updated for a modern day audience. Unfortunately, all of these companies are focused on modern day audiences and maybe one or two of these projects will end up good. Maybe they will end up during the development process changing their minds and they won't make drastic changes to the material they're working with but only time will tell and this is extremely worrying to hear that another game that is being rebooted is being changed and aimed towards bringing the series forward for today's modern sensibilities. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.